Yeah, Kirk, how many E3s have you been to? What was like the first E3 you went to? It was for Banjo Kazooie, I think. Like really? 1990 something, seven. Do you have a favorite memory, favorite geek out? You know, moment, you know what, as, as I was driving it tonight, I thought you might ask for that question, and yeah. I do have one memory, but it's, it's like when we did the Banjo thing, right? We got, it was out, it was 1997, whatever it was, and we got called, we were still at the Biltmore, like you always doing it, right? And we got called to the basement rooms with Howard Lincoln. You know, Howard Lincoln was Mr. Big, right? And, uh, uh, Nintendo how he America. introduced himself. And everybody yeah. knew he was very quiet spoken, but very serious. And he just walked in and said, uh, my name's Howard Lincoln, I'm so and so so and so at Nintendo. We have five billion in the bank and no debts. And then he sat down and we were right. like, oh, that doesn't sound very good. And he, <laughs> and he just sort of said, now, guys, just to get this clear to you, you know, we've committed this uh, 20 million to this for Banjo advertising. And he just went through the figures. It was like ginormous. Just so you know, if you do miss Christmas, that'll be very bad. And we all knew there wasn't a chance we were going to make Christmas like. And we all, this colours just draining from your face going, shit, he's just going to, he's going to murder us right now. <laughs> so we all went, Howard, no problem, mate. We're going to be out for Christmas. You just, no worries at all. Went back to the UK, told Tim and Chris Stamper, we're never going to make Christmas. It's never going to happen. But luckily, they were making, they were making that, um, I guess, Pro-Am Racing. Arsenal. They had a funny name for it. Okay. And, and, and Joel Hogberg, who's like the American bit of rare, Communicated to Nintendo that Banjo wasn't going to make it, but we've got a racing game and then a kart racer. And Nintendo said, "Look, stick the Kongs in it. We'll have that. And that could be Diddy Kong Racing. Of course, stick the Kongs in it. We'll have that instead. <laughs> so we'll we be saved, you know, from being killed by Howard Lincoln." But I never forget the way he sat there, and you know, he's very emotionless and like, but just put the fear of God into you. You just shat yourself. You know, what? Completely. What is that? If, how can a business <laughs> guy do it? Can anybody pull it off? Was he born that way, or I did he just know. have like? You know, when he was 25, he looked in the mirror and said, if I just play it cool and I talk know. about how much money we've got in the bank, I, know. I can perfect this craft. I just business. read that Game Over book, right? The one that I get in that book about how Nintendo started. It went to that story out how they got the Donkey yeah. Kong thing. You Ooh, know, I how, need to how, read that. Yeah, that's a, such a good, uh, so many great stories in that book. Yeah. But that thing where they, the, the movie company was su- were going to sue Nintendo for Donkey, for Donkey Kong because King Kong was there. Ah, right. right. And, so, yeah, whatever, and, so you, and, and they went, and I think they, they went for a, a final meal. With the movie company, the movie company thought, I can't remember when it was, was sort of, it was to agree that you couldn't possibly use the name Donkey Kong because Kong was theirs, like that. And they had the whole meal, all mates and fantastic, and everyone was super happy. But Nintendo had been researching and found out that Kong was, it was in the public domain and they couldn't copyright it. And so, literally, the, just as, as the lift doors are closing, like, Howard Lincoln sort of said, and by the way, we're keeping Donkey Kong. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Went to the last, did all the meal, everyone was super happy. Yeah, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. it's a great story, but it's, it's more elaborate than that. But you know, he was that man who just did that thing where him and Mr. Arakawa literally went store to store selling selling the NES. You know, That's store sick. to store to, to to break America. It was an amazing story. That was just a clip from a larger show called the Game Informer Show. You can find it on iTunes, Google Play, or GameInformer.com. We take the fun opportunities and exclusive information from Game Informer Magazine and boil it into a show that airs every Thursday with exclusive cover story information developer interviews, a lot of fun stuff. So come love games with us. 